The HasLab project is an incredible waste of money because there are other vehicles available on the market. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. This is once again another video about the Marvel Legends HasLab project from Hasbro. For those of you that don't know, then do check out my playlist. I've got videos explaining whether they're worth the money, what the product is, etc, etc. But in this video, I want to answer one of the questions that a lot of people have been raising. The HasLab project's a waste of money because there's other cars on the market. This is not a false statement. This is 100% true. So let's take a quick look at some of those and discuss what they are. First up, let's have a look. The HasLab project is a £350 stroke $350 tax and all that. It's a crowdfunding project so it will only go into production if they reach the minimum backers of 9,000 and currently they're sitting just under the 5,000 with about 40 odd days to go still. For your money you get the car, you get the hell charger or the engine of vengeance as they're calling it and it lights up and the wheels change and there's various different accessories that you can put on but to see all that go and check out one of my other videos. You also get the Ghost Rider figure as well. If they reach 9,000 backers within the first week of the campaign you also get a six inch powered down Robbie Reyes and they've just announced the first tier at 12,000 backers which is Mephisto. So the total offering so far will be the car, two six inch figures of Robbie Reyes and the Ghost Rider and a seven inch figure of Mephisto, all of which we've been told are pinless. So let's just talk about some of the other cars on the market. That makes this video sound like we're going to talk about real cars but we are talking about toys. Now the first one and the most common one that people have discussed is the Bratz vehicle. So Bratz do a line of play vehicles and cars and vans and buses and stuff that scale nicely with their figures. Now these cars are cool but they do match the cartoony look of Bratz so they are slightly oversized in places and I think to be perfectly honest with you would a six inch figure fit in this car? Yes. Would it look right? In my opinion not completely. Yes with a bit of imagination it would work if you spray painted it black yes it would look like a black cadillac and with a little bit of customizing it would look okay these were available to pick up for about 23 24 pounds from places such as smith's but they aren't as readily available now as they were you can get them on the aftermarket the sellers have got wires and prices are starting to go up so this is one of the more common options that people are saying that they're going to go for now one thing to say here is that this Bratz car for example has been on the market for quite some time and I haven't seen a huge amount of customs posted about it like Robbie Reyes customs posted about it until Marvel announced that they were doing a car and then all of a sudden there's a lot of people talking about this as a custom. Not saying that you can't do it, it definitely would work but for me personally the scales are a little bit off. I think there are better options out there. Another one is Mattel with their WWE figures. One of the most popular figures is the Slambulance, and this is a really good one, and it retails at about £40, and with the right customization, I've seen some really awesome Punisher vans made out of this. It scales very well because the wrestling figures are about the same size as the Marvel Legends, just a little bit taller in some cases, and it does look the part as well because they are realistic-esque vehicles because of the nature of the WWE line. There is another one out there, it's a sports car type thing and I don't remember the exact name it's something like the slam mobile or something like that um, but it does look good and again it scales very well it doesn't quite fit the Robbie Reyes look it's not the same type of car now the one that most people are talking about is the remote control car from Mattel based on the Batman film with Robert Patterson and this is a fully working light up remote control car and it retails at around 150 160 pounds now this at the time people thought was quite expensive for what it was, but when you compare it to the HasLab project, it's a lot cheaper. Me personally, I still prefer the HasLab project because that is the Batman car. Now I'm sure with a bit of customization, you could definitely make this look a lot more like the Hell Charger. One thing that I don't quite understand, and please correct me if, if I'm wrong, but a lot of people are talking about, well, for 150 pounds, you can get a remote control car and it actually moves. I don't want the remote control car feature. I would much rather that money went into producing other things like other figures and stuff like that, just because I'm not gonna use it as a remote control car. If I wanted a remote control car, I would have bought a remote control car. But no, it is not incorrect to say that this car is the same kind of scale, does have the remote control car feature, and is a lot cheaper. There's one more vehicle on the market, and it's this one, look. 
it's even the right size. But this is the cars vehicle, and this, this cost me like 12 pounds, I think it was. Um, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't open up. I bought it for my kids, they absolutely love it. They stand on it, they push it around, all the rest of it. But it does scale properly, look. Let me get a, a six inch figure, and look, it, it scales pretty good. That's a really rubbish one. I'm doing customs at the moment. That's why I've got a rubbish figure at hand. Let's get a better one. So look, it does scale okay. I mean, it's it's oversized, but you know what? If all you want is a car to sit on your shelf to customize, go and pick up this Mattel one. It's like 12 pounds and you can do all your painting and that kind of stuff. You can get rid of the big smile. And look, there you go. You've got a nice car and a nice figure for 12 quid. Job done. But another thing that you are not taking into consideration is that if you are picking up one of these other cars and you want to do some customising to it, that takes time and work. It's not just going to happen. I love a bit of customising and I've, I've been customising for quite some time. Uh, and I know some really, really good customisers out there. But to get something accurate does take time, patience, practice and all the rest of it. It's not just as simple as getting a, pe a can of black spray paint and spraying something black. You won't be as happy with the end product. In my opinion there are two things that i want to address in this video as well the latest unlock tier has been announced and it's mephisto and people are talking about the diamond select mephisto that retails at about 75 pounds now on ebay that the price of that has gone up so it's about 70 75 pounds so if you take the mephisto figure that's on the market at the moment for 75 pounds and you do take the batman car that's a remote control car and you get your light up features that's 150 and 75 well that's 225 already so it's not that far off of what the haslab project is retailing at so if you were saying well i'm not going to buy the haslab project i'm going to get the batman car and mephisto instead and you went out and bought them because they weren't in your collection then you're not spending that much less for products that aren't the official thing if you've got a different agenda because of the price of hasbro and stuff like that then that's that's fine that's a completely different thing altogether i'm just talking about the fact that this car and this figure would come to this much and the product that they're putting out there that is the official kind of Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider Hell Charger comes to this much. Not to mention that if it does get backed, you are going to have those extra tiers as well. So it's going to be a car and half a dozen figures. One last thing that I want to point out as well that I think people are overlooking a little bit is the Ghost Rider bike that came with the Rider series, which came out in, I believe, 2018. Now this was really cool, it was one of the earlier riders that we got They when they first released the line. It was one of the first ones in the line, but the bike wasn't 100% accurate. There were a lot of complaints about it. For me personally, I preferred the Punisher bike that came out at a later date. Now, even though this bike wasn't completely accurate, it retailed at around £30 at the time. I think it was about £25, £30 when it first came out. And there were a few places that they did offers and discounts and you could pick it up a little bit cheaper later on but the recommended retail price for this was about 29.99 and you got the six inch figure and the bike no lights no motors no remote control parts to it or anything like that just a bike and a figure this now goes for nearly 100 pounds on ebay boxed and unboxed so you're paying 100 pounds for a bike that isn't completely accurate and a figure that came out in 2018 to have a ghost rider in your collection with a bike and I think one thing that people do need to take into consideration is that this HasLab project is only going to be here for 45 days. If you don't back it, you lose your opportunity to have it. So if there's a part of you that's thinking, you know what, I would like it in my collection, but I don't want to shell out the, the money for the HasLab project. To own it at a later date, you are only going to pay more money, but that money is going to be going in somebody else's pocket. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is just me throwing my thoughts out about the Haslab project because there's so much chatter about it. I just kind of want to unload my thoughts on it. And then please do let me know in the comments, etc. what your thoughts are. Have I said something that you agree with, disagree with? Just let me know. Let's get a conversation going. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more of these videos to come. So please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. I'll see you soon.